At the beginning of the film, a jungle is shown. Here, a sloth is seen resting on a tree by the river, when suddenly a crocodile attacks it. Within seconds, we see blood in the water, implying that the crocodile may have devoured the sloth. But surprisingly, a little later, we see the sloth emerging from the water, somehow having survived the crocodile's attack. However, it doesn't escape the clutches of a hunter who shoots it with a tranquilizer and takes it away in his bag. On the other hand, we notice that the crocodile that attacked the sloth is injured and dead. This implies that the sloth isn't an innocent creature, but rather a bloodthirsty animal. After this scene, we see two girls who are college students, one of whom, Emily, is the main character of our film. Emily's friend, Madison, is with her. Emily is obsessed with social media and keeps uploading pictures constantly, which annoys Madison, leading her to leave in frustration. After Madison leaves, Emily spots a dog, grabs it, and starts taking selfies with it. The dog's owner praises Emily, saying she has a kind heart and loves animals. They both take pictures with the dog, which Emily uploads on social media. The two of them then discuss social media, and Emily notices a picture of a sloth on the man's account, which impresses her. The man suggests that such an animal could be kept as a pet, and it could also boost her social media followers. He gives Emily his card, saying she should contact him if she's interested in getting a sloth. The scene then shifts to Emily and Madison's college, where we meet a girl named Sydney, who has won three elections in her college dorm and plans to run for house president this time. Everyone likes her because she is beautiful and stylish, but they also fear her because she is arrogant, wealthy, and comes from a powerful family. When Emily enters her room, she realizes someone is following her, but she quickly overpowers them, only to discover it was her friend who had come to surprise her. Later, Emily meets the hostile warden who tells her that her mother was house president when she studied at the same college and encourages Emily to run for the elections too. Although Emily knows she can't defeat Sydney, she still wants to become house president and decides to participate in the election. Emily realizes that the only way to win is to become as popular as Sydney. Remembering the conversation with the man earlier, she decides that getting a sloth could be a unique way to increase her social media followers. Emily contacts the man and decides to buy a sloth from him. He provides her with a location where she goes the next day to pick up the sloth. The scene cuts to the man, who is about to take the sloth out of its cage for a walk, but the sloth attacks and kills him. The next morning, when Emily arrives at the man's house, he doesn't answer his phone. The house is in disarray, and Emily can't find him anywhere, but she does spot the sloth, which seems menacing. Without telling anyone, she takes the sloth and leaves. Back at her hostel, she notices the sloth following her, and in frustration, picks up a box and throws it down the stairs. Unbeknownst to her, the sloth was inside the box. When the sloth emerges, all the girls find it adorable. Emily quickly picks up the sloth, but Sydney informs her that pets aren't allowed in the dorm. In response, Emily proposes a new rule. If enough people vote for it, she can keep the sloth. Many girls vote in favor, which makes Emily very happy, and she also announces her candidacy for house president. Sydney is furious, but there's nothing she can do as Emily's popularity grows, partly due to the sloth, which boosts her social media following significantly. Madison, Emily's friend, isn't fond of the sloth, but Emily's follower count continues to rise rapidly, giving her an edge in the election. Emily's other friend gives her some pills for the sloth, which helps it remain calm around people. Sydney, feeling threatened, asks a friend to take the sloth far away, hoping that Emily's popularity would diminish, increasing her chances of winning the election. The scene cuts to Emily, who is giving the sloth its medication. After feeding it, she plans to take it out to socialize, but first goes to get ready. Meanwhile, the sloth operates her computer as if it were human. It even looks at the picture of the man who brought it from the jungle, getting enraged. The sloth spits out the pill and behaves normally when Emily comes out. She then takes the sloth to a party where everyone adores it. Sydney's friend, tasked with getting rid of the sloth, asks Emily if she can hold it because she finds it adorable. Emily agrees, and the girl takes the sloth into the forest as Sydney had instructed. Sydney's plan seems successful, and the girl returns to the hostel, 
unaware that the sloth didn't stay in the forest and is heading back to the hostile building. As the sloth crosses the road, it narrowly avoids getting hit by a car and eventually reaches the hostel. But this sloth isn't an ordinary animal. It seeks revenge on those who wrong it. That night, the girl who took the sloth away drinks a pill and sees the sloth, thinking she's hallucinating. But the sloth is really there, scaring her before pouncing on her and killing her with its sharp claws. Back at the hostel, the party ends, and everyone starts leaving as it begins to rain. Emily searches for the sloth, but Sydney informs her that it was left in the forest. Suddenly, Emily sees the sloth alive in her room, feeling relieved as she picks it up, unaware that it has just killed a girl. In the dark, Emily doesn't notice the blood on the sloth's claws. Days pass, and the sloth stays with everyone at the hostel. One day, while everyone is playing basketball, a girl accidentally drops the ball on the sloth. The sloth catches it like a human, and in anger, slashes the girl with its claws. Angry, the sloth kills her that night too. The sloth kills anyone who wrongs it, or anyone it dislikes. After killing, the sloth hides the bodies, and no one looks for them, because the sloth itself posts on their Instagram accounts, making it appear as though they have left the hostel. Madison notices that Emily's followers are growing daily, but feels something is wrong. She decides to talk to Emily's other friend, who is sitting beside Emily. The sloth is also there. The sloth opens a beer bottle and drinks it like a human, which doesn't bother Emily or the other girl. However, Madison notices that this behavior is very unusual for an animal. Emily gets up to grab something, and Madison tries to take the sloth away, intending to either release it in the forest or take it to a shelter. But before she can, Emily catches her. Not realizing that Madison is trying to help her, Emily fights with her friends. During the fight, the sloth throws Emily's phone onto the road. When Madison tries to retrieve the phone, she gets hit by a car, causing a severe accident. The sloth had done this intentionally, knowing that the car would run over Madison when she reached for the phone. Madison is severely injured and is taken to the hospital. Seeing her friend in such a condition, Emily is deeply saddened and promises Madison that she will fix everything. She vows to get rid of the sloth after the election. That night, the election takes place, but before it ends, the sloth kills two more girls. After killing them, the sloth finds out the hospital's address from one of the girls' cell phones because it wants to kill Madison. It then steals Emily's car and drives to the hospital, driving better than a human. Meanwhile, the election results are announced, and Emily wins by a narrow margin, much to her joy, while Sydney seeds with jealousy. The scene then shifts to the hospital, where the sloth tries to kill Madison by removing her oxygen mask and suffocating her with a pillow. Before Madison can die, a nurse enters the room and the sloth hides. The nurse removes the pillow from Madison's face and replaces her oxygen mask, saving her life once again. Back at the hostel, Sydney is furious about losing the election and goes to her friend's room to share her frustration. She finds her friend's dead body in the washroom, screams loudly, but no one hears her. Emily and her friends are celebrating their victory and discussing the missing people, was wondering where they might have gone. Emily goes upstairs to grab something from her room when she hears Sydney scream. Following the sound, she reaches the room and sees the sloth on top of Sydney's head. Without wasting time, Emily hits the sloth on the head, knocking it out. When Sydney screams in fear upon seeing the dead body again, Emily slaps her and tells her this isn't the time to panic, but to save themselves. When they realize the sloth has left the room, they pick up the toilet lid and leave the room, only to find the sloth waiting for them on a chair. Seeing this, Sydney runs back into the washroom and locks the door, leaving poor Emily trapped. As the sloth jumps to attack her, Emily uses the toilet lid as a shield and strikes the sloth, knocking it out of the commode. Thinking it's dead, Emily watches as the sloth stands up. She quickly runs back and warns the other girls about the danger, but they are too busy partying. And before they could reach downstairs, Sloth made his move. He threw an electric wire into the washroom water, electrocuting everyone. Only Emily's third friend managed to escape. After killing them, Sloth went to the hostel warden. The warden was intoxicated at the time. He noticed Sloth first and tried to defend himself for a while. 
He succeeded initially, but then Sloth overpowered him and killed him by striking his stomach with his large claws. Meanwhile, Emily's friend, who was using Instagram, saw one picture after another of the girls in the hostel, with Sloth in the background. All the girls had their eyes closed, indicating that something was terribly wrong. Realizing this, he rushed to the hostel. Upon arriving, he found a gruesome scene. Now, he wanted to save Emily. They decided to kill Sloth together. Emily's surviving friend had a sword, which he intended to use to kill Sloth. The three of them formed a team and went after Sloth. As the girl began to attack Sloth with the sword, Sloth easily dodged the strikes, almost as if he knew martial arts. Eventually, he overpowered the girl and took the sword. Just as he was about to kill her with it, Madison, who had been injured and was in the hospital, arrived with a gun. Madison shot Sloth from behind, causing him to fall. Everyone thought Sloth was dead. Emily's friend, who had also been injured, needed to be taken to the hospital. The boy took them to the hospital, while Emily turned back to ensure Sloth was really dead. She couldn't believe it and wanted to stab him with a large rod to finish him off. But before she could do so, Sloth escaped. Emily's other companions had already gone to the hospital, leaving her alone in the hostel. She knew that all of this had happened because of her, and now she had to fix it. As Emily called out for Sloth, Sydney came down the stairs. Sloth was perched on top of him with his large claws on Sydney's neck, ready to kill him. Sloth ordered Emily to throw the sword toward him. As soon as Emily threw the sword, Sloth lunged at her. But before he could kill her, Emily shot him with the hidden gun she had. This time, her shot was effective and Sloth was about to die. Before dying, Sloth pointed towards a painting of a jungle, indicating that he wanted to return to his forest. But it was too late, he died. After his death, the hostel became known as Slaughterhouse. Sometime later, we see that the hostel is once again bustling with activity. No one is afraid of living there, perhaps unaware of how many people were killed there.